Okay, let's talk about how you get the pictures off the scope. So there's a few ways to do that. I've said already, if you've watched the previous videos, you can auto export the image as a TIFF when you save it, which is quite useful. The other way to do that is to go to processing and in processing, there's a button for image export. And then in here, if you expand the parameters tab, you can choose what you want. Now, usually what I recommend to folk is to use the TIFF format, the tagged image file format, this one here. Uh, the reason for not using JPEG is the JPEG is a lossy compression. You give up some of the data. Now, when you do uh, TIFF, there's a button here which you can uh, change to, or not. It says convert to 8-bit. Now, 8-bit means it can get used by programs like PowerPoint and Word really easily. So usually that's what you want to do. And a compression system, you can choose none, but most people, most of the time, you might as well compress because it doesn't do anything negative and LZW compression is good. And what I'd always do is keep it 100% unless it's monster sized. Um, applying the display curve and channel color, that's the bit down here. So if I leave that ticked, it will do, it will take the picture like it appears on the screen effectively. And the burning graphics button here will, will take that scale bar and keep it on the image. So you can actually turn that on or off and have it with and without that scale bar. Um, you obviously could see where it's going to be saved and then select the image you want from the list and it will give you a few more options. So I'm just over here. And then when you hit apply, it'll export. That's great and that's probably what you'll do whenever you want full size images. Option two or option three, I guess, is, is if you wanted to take if I wanted to show this picture, right? So I'm manually zooming in here. I'm using the mouse wheel to select an image, a part of an image on, on my thing. If I wanted to show that picture, what I'm actually seeing on the screen, there is an option to hit the right button and that generates a, a folder. And in here, there is a create image from view button. And what that does is now created a, a separate fo file. So this is the original file, uh, which I can zoom back out in. And this is the new file, which if I zoom out, you'll see it's just the, even the scale bar is maybe I can put it back on it if I want. So this has created a new image. And actually what I can do now is I can save that as and use the drop down menu to select the TIFF. And again, choose where it's saved, choose the file name, all that good stuff.